What's up, y'all? Happy Home Friday. I hope you guys are, uh, you know, I hope you're feeling good. <laughs> if you ever think that you could get away with having an intro like that, you are sorely mistaken. Happy Home Friday! Happy Home Friday! <laughs> home Friday! Uh, I just kind of wanted to throw you guys off, be like, wait, what's going he on? He told me this whole <laughs> spiel beforehand, and so my misery when he first started talking was like, there's no way he'd ever get away with that. <laughs> Happy Home Friday, guys! And, and, and on that note, like... Only one other time did we plan what we were going to do, and that was when we did our little Home Friday when we tried to sing. But um, usually, we almost every time, we don't plan those intros. I just wanted to kind of throw you all for a loop. And um, <laughs> today, today, every time I say that, I think of Melissa, uh, the reactor from Scotland, oh, I who love I love. So if you guys today. haven't, she is so, she's so vulgar and hilarious. If you guys... You guys should check her out, Melissa. Soul Singer Reacts. Anyways, every time I say today, I think of her. Today! She's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we've got a donation request from Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be awesome. We've already done Chance's hometown roots. I know. These are cool to be able to get a more intimate feel and inside peek into the guys. Right, even this though, one is Austin's hometown. Oh yeah, thanks for saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our brain. Um, even though Austin... Our brain. Yeah, even though... <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I feel like we share a brain. We do. You know? Oh, this is fun. Um, was and now, now she forgot everything she was going to say. I know. Even though Austin is departing, who cares? Like, he's still been with the band. He's still home fry. He's still a home free guy. So we're interested and in plus, seeing. plus, yeah. when we started doing home free, Austin was there. So we've only known this version of home free. Yeah. Now, we did. We, of course, we've done Chris Rupp stuff. But, yeah. you know, we've only known this version. So yeah. we're we're always going to do stuff with Austin. He's always going to be part, part of, of Home Free, just yeah. like we do stuff with Chris Rupp, even though he's not there. So Please get used to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, shout out to all of you Home Fries out there who have already watched our vlog and interview and have commented. Thank you so much. It Thank means you. the world that you guys have supported us like this and enjoyed the vlog. It was a beast of a video. It took a long time to put together, but it was so much fun seeing all the things that, that we did and all the people we met it just was it was a blast yeah, so thank you all for watching and for for being a part of this circle as well actually for inviting us into y'all's circle because this is just amazing home fries for life baby absolutely and now without further ado we are gonna jump right into this my home fries this is home free this is not home free this is austin's hometown i'm surprised i didn't catch a left hook just now because i'm just taking her whole part this is Austin Brown's, is See? It? this is Austin Brown's hometown homecoming. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Enjoy. 15 minutes of Austin Brown antics. Let's see what we got going yeah. on. Yeah. This is the piano. Oh, look at how short his hair is. Uh, I learned to play piano on. Aw, love that. Look at that. It's a voodoo doll. Oh. <laughs> Something? Yeah. I ain't never gonna, ever gonna leave this town. Hey, yeah. Ain't gonna leave, ain't gonna leave, baby. Hey, yeah. Ain't gonna leave this town. This is my mama. It's about as far out in the country as you can get down here. I it was mean... a peanut field last year. This year's cotton. And I don't know if you can tell, but we came in on a dirt road. So this is this is real country. Hey, mama, <laughs> give me like a chance. Right? That's all right. Come on. Come on. I'm wore out. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I love sure. you. Aww. Hey, Daryl. Austin, how's it going, man? I'm good, man. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. This is my first ever photo shoot. I think is I that a hoodie under a sports coat? It sure is. <laughs> is that blue steel or magnum? Me? That's, I don't know, that's just... Oh my gosh, look at him. Look brown at that. Brown, brown steel. Brown steel. <laughs> Should I have my cowboy that's boots called on rust. this picture, but you just can't see it. <laughs> but I got, apparently I have Steel my cowboy boots on this picture. Cute. It looks like an old, but like the, like the Carpenter Girls. I feel like something. that'd be the cover yeah. of an album. Mama is a seamstress. She uh, She's retired from the University of Georgia in Tifton. Now she's just sewing clothes. She takes in my clothes a lot of times, because nobody knows my body better than my mama. Um, and <laughs> she lucky. loves me, even though I'm thin. So yeah, to all you people out there giving me mess for it, is that why your jeans are extra skinny? Right. 
<laughs> she got They're not extra skinny. <laughs> oh, Amberly. You don't know. She uh -huh. is a lion. I love that. They're extra oh, skinny. Yeah, right. tell this tell isn't her. finished yet. But. <laughs> Remember when we went out to Seattle for the HS event that um that I was part of a photo shoot for and we went shopping? I bought my first pair of skinny jeans. Yeah. Not that skinny though. Those well, were that's like because those I'm were like, like jeggings, right? Uh, <laughs> Jean leggings. <laughs> I'm like I'm like twice as big as Austin, but you know, but I tried it was my first ever skinny jeans and it feels so weird yeah. to wear like I don't know, it's funny. It just made made me think about that. Skinny jeans. My mom makes memory bears. Memory bears. Oh, that's memory sweet. Bears. This is my grandmother. Um, this is Aww. one of her sweaters. Aww. And this is jewelry that she that's used so to wear. sweet. You know, like what a, a, a great up. idea. She turns that into a pillow. I'm always I wonder if she's on Etsy. I'm just ready to go. Okay. Yeah, mama collects sewing machines. And this is one of my favorites. I think it's so cool because it's still got the, wow. what do you call it, the pedal. My mom the has yeah. one of those. Yeah, she does? Right. I believe so. She did. You use your foot. Holly. To pop the needle. An Egyptian wow, sphinx. Oh, it's got, you said it's got the sphinx oh on it? Yeah, that's amazing. I like herbal. Still me. I got shoes Sphincter on. says what? That's definitely still me right what? there. I'm pretty sure it's still the same. I probably, let me just take my shoes off. Uh-oh. Make sure I'm still the same. You okay, shrink. Yeah. Okay. Did I get this? Okay, I'm still okay, the same. Still I'm the tallest one. Oh, my God. You look like Steven Tyler's red neck brother. <laughs> 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 I love how she just like, gives it right to him. That's what it looks like. It looks just like a piece of fabric and they yeah, pretend it was like a scarf. Long. It's the country. You remember there and, and look at the old house? Piece of heaven that the Lord sent down. Yeah, yeah. As long as she's here and if she ain't leaving, I got... So this house uh, has been in, in my step family, my, my stepfather and his whole family, in their family for years and years and generations. Um, I think it's about wow. 150 years old. It's still wow. standing. Uh, there's, there's a, you know, I think they put a toilet in there like 40 years ago, but no one stays there. But they, they use it for parties and for big dinners and gatherings and things like that. Yeah, let's go check it out. I wonder who did this vlog. They only just paved this road like less than a year ago. It was a dirt road my entire life. I guess one day it'll be that way everywhere, huh? Dirt roads will just be a thing of the past. I'll be able to tell my grandchildren, yeah, my mama used to live on a red dirt road. And I'll be like, <laughs> no, uh. His country <laughs> definitely know, comes out when he goes home. Do you know how old this place is? Not exactly, but it's over 100 years. Yeah, we know it's over 100 years for sure. So uh, for some reason, I thought it was like 150, which I, I don't think it's quite that well. Look at his bass hat. So I guess, yeah, 100, 100, uh, about 100 years in 84. So what did that be, 16, 20, 36 years, 136? Approximately. <laughs> what Some years, just happened? We all hold hands in a circle, all of the family. Daryl's father was the oldest of 13? 10. 10. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like to just exaggerate. We'd all get together, all the cousins and uncles and aunts and sisters and brothers, and hold hands. Wow. And one year we counted off over 100 people. Oh my God. And goodness. I just remember wow. being like, wow. I've never done anything like I held stand in a circle with over 100 people saying grace before Thanksgiving. Wow. 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 <laughs> That's got to be a sight. Door, no, uh, door, door stop. When you don't have a handle, just put a block. Cinder block. Hey, okay, works. Redneck door stop. <laughs> Redneck door goats stop. And <laughs> goats and donkeys. Let's go see some goats. Oh, okay. I was like, what does that mean? I was like, you're psycho. Donkey goats. I will die a dream, a dream in man. We haven't done this song. Did you hear Tim? That was so low. Did you go it alone without anyone else? Is it going to fall over? Nope. Not a fan. How pretty. I bet if Amberly walked up, it would have been like, jumped up in her arm. Look at that house. Pretty. so much, and now all I want to do when I'm gone is come back here. It's really something else, and I'm excited to share with you. Come on in. Aunt Terry here is cooking her famous pecan pie recipe. This is Dixie. I Yum. got her whenever I was in college. I had her for about Aww. four years. And then I got a job on a cruise ship singing. Oh, girl. Um, which eventually led to me meeting Home Free. Uh, and I couldn't keep her. So I gave her to Aunt Terry. And then I got off the cruise ship and was coming back to get Dixie. And Aunt Terry said, no, you're not going to have Dixie. She's my dog now. Yeah. And now she's 13 Good for you. years old. And this Sweet right here is Phoebe. Girl. Loves any and everyone, and she is so calm Aww. and humble and meek. She is the picture of royalty, honestly. And that's Elmer T. T is for Toothless, as in Toothless the Dragon. 
important. Aunt Terry is a, she's a very important person in my life. She's Aww, a, she's a neuromuscular therapist. She's a modern day healer, wow. y'all. Magic hands. Yeah, I wow. like to think so. The most embarrassing, one of your favorite memories of this kid. I'm pretty awesome. I don't are you, really, uh, are you telling the internet that you're not embarrassing? I'm not embarrassing. Is that Rob? Who's Thank filming? Uh, I don't think well, so. We used to have a pet snake. Our receptionist Me too. at my husband's office, deathly afraid of snakes. Her too. Austin and Adam <laughs> got the snake out, and Adam went up to the front desk and tossed it into our receptionist's face, and she just went crazy. Larry found out about it. He got both of them, and he said, "Y'all throw that snake Jaw. in Marlene's face." And Adam said, "Y'all." Yeah, I th well, yeah. It's just he's doing funny. funny. I know, but it was I've never seen "Did y'all" be m morphed yeah. into one word yeah. before. Jaw. It's uh -huh. like gent. Jaw. <laughs> that was great. Sorry, I, I, I'm easily amused. Larry found out about it. He got both of them and he said, y'all throw that snake in Marlene's face. I love it. And Adam said, no, we did not. And Austin oh, said, God. yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean. I pity the fool who would do that. Oh my gosh, I would die right there and then. I, I, I remember my stepdad, Andy, I played a joke on him. He killed a black snake that was like, it almost fell on his head when he was taking the trash out on the side of our house. Mm. And he, he killed it. And it was probably about six feet long. And I don't remember what he did with it, but somehow I came around and took it out of the trash or from wherever it was. And <laughs> Such I, a boy move. I put it, I know I was probably like 10 and I put it on the front door and I rang the doorbell and ran away. <laughs> And he opened it and lost his mind. I was cracking up. Yeah, that snake came back to haunt him now. Oh, yes, See, he's like, he did me dirty, and yes, now I'm coming it back. Yes, did. Oh my god, I couldn't wait. But I would never throw a snake in someone's face. Can you like imagine? That. Oh my god. No. Uncle Larry here is a veterinarian. Aww. He is a living marvel. He's the hardest working person I've ever known in my life. And somehow he's done that after two motorcycle wrecks. Wow. Where wow. he's broken, what, 30 bones in his listen, body? Listen, listen, Rawson. If your ambulance was not a helicopter, your wrecks don't count. If your ambulance wow. is not a helicopter, your wreck don't count. You heard it here first. Sorry, folks. But uh, yeah, Uncle Larry drove off the side of a mountain one time. Oh, my not goodness. Not on purpose. No, no. <laughs> Evil can evil. What, you clip the back of another car? After all of that, he's still the hardest working person I know. He works 60, 70 hours a week at the clinic out there, and then he comes here and waters his trees and plants trees and works in the yards and cuts the grass He's and does be tired. all of it. I hope one day I can be as That's hard a country working boy. and as cool as Uncle Larry. You got any, uh, they you work got any hard. stories of this guy as a, as a youngster? Well, I'll tell you one. Uh, we lived actually in a double wide mobile home behind Quailwood Animal Hospital. And so they were in and out of the, the, the hospital all the time. Well, the lady up front, scared to death of snakes and adam knew this and adam had a rubber snake and he goes up a rubber her and he tosses that rubber snake up beside her and she screams <laughs> and you know i'm running up front what happened oh, oh, the snake it's a rubber snake He's don't sweet. worry a don't rubber worry. snake okay did they say that at first i don't know if no. i caught that i thought it was a real one Marlene? now i don't feel Most so bad about it. throwing the snake Yes, you did. I saw you. Terry <laughs> told the same story. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's not that you ratted him out. You just told the truth. Admir admirable trait. You heard it here first. You heard of honest Abe. Well, I'm honest Austin. Running for president in 2044. <laughs> 2044. Espresso 41. It's my favorite coffee shop in the world. It's in Tifton, Georgia, just off I-75. If you're ever coming through, Starbucks is cool and all, but skip old Starbucks and go to Espresso 41. I totally Unless go it's to Sunday, Espresso it's Tifton, 41. All, cool, all cool places shut down on Sunday. So now when local. I pull up, yeah. they recognize my truck and they've gotten to where they will just hand me my coffee when I pull up. They That's know awesome. exactly how I want it. One pump of hazelnut, you know, sure. almond milk, boom. So I do the hazelnut too. I have orange and coffee. I'm gonna get ice, Ooh. by the way, today for you. Long time no see. Um, I'll, I'll do a large iced coffee with one pump of, actually two pumps of hazelnut and almond milk. Yeah. Uh, we're actually kind of almond today. Can I get you coconut? Oak is fine. Oak? Oak is great. Right. Oak. Oak. Yeah, caffeine addiction. One of the things that bring us Did you really say oak? This is my grandpa's house. Oak. My grandpa and my father's house. All the streets. Instead of almond. 
I'm right. named after my father, my two aunts. Oh, I love uncle. his shirt. And this is his house, and it's it's literally home to me. He built all the houses in this neighborhood with my father. And, uh, and this is currently, this is my father's garden. Got some gourds growing over there, it looks like, too. Remember, they're drying. Yeah, wow. a shaker. Make a shaker out of it. I love that, eating from a Squire garden. Brown, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Squire Brown. Come over here, sit with me. Is that Grandpa? Oh, okay. So this is my grandpa. Yeah. He did a lot for this town. How long were you mayor? 15 years. There you go. They couldn't get rid of him any other way, so they just abolished the office. So he was the last mayor in Tipton for a long time. For well, many years. We had some good times in uh, public office, and we had some rough times in public office. I'm sure. Anybody can run a successful uh, business or sweet. show or whatever if you got money. You don't have money and you take nothing and make something out of it, you're doing a pretty good job. It's been a good time, <laughs> but uh, I would not want to go back through it because today is the best day of my life. And I tell people all the time, yesterday is gone. You'll never get to live through yesterday, it's gone. Tomorrow is ahead of us. You'll never live through tomorrow because tomorrow becomes today. So therefore, you're always living today and looking forward to tomorrow. So enjoy today. I love that, Papa. Aww, what do you Papa. remember about, uh, about me when I was younger and a kid? I think what I remember almost most of was <clears throat> Papa would pick me up after school a lot. And we'd come here and we'd play baseball or badminton or we'd toss around the football. He was always wanting to be a soldier. I've got a picture of him in my army overcoat, which the overcoat bigger than he was. Mm -hmm. He loved that army overcoat. Let's I see the picture. Sweet. I'll have to go put that on. <laughs> you might still get in it. <laughs> now that army jacket, there's two of them. Is it there. gray? Is it this one? That, that's one. Well, I'm gonna try it on the least. Looks like it might be a little short for me, but I guess my shoulder's pretty good. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. It feels wow. like an army jacket. Same frame, Papa. Wow, look at that. <laughs> wow. Wow, it that's does nice fit him so good. Uh, that's the one there. That we, I got a picture around here somewhere when you wore it, the coat was bigger than you was. Man, this thing's so heavy. Is it? Wow, that actually fits like a glove. That's the Army overcoat of World War II. Wow. Wow. That's Can you awesome. imagine? And it's in great shape. Wow. I got no hot feelings. Oh my gosh. Oh, so catch me. Man, we don't know any of these songs. I know. I want that shirt. A long, long time ago, a group named Home Free won the sing-off. If you love a clean-shaven, looking like a 12-year-old boy, Austin, the sing-off is on YouTube. You're welcome. It was awesome. Yep. <laughs> That's real. They've got multiple. What? Eight, eight. This is fantastic. Wait, can you put that Did back, Did you see the number? No. I, I missed what that was. 888 fake leg. <laughs> That's a real... Uh, oh, my God. Wait, what is... 888fakeleg.com. That's, That's the website. And Wait, their phone number. What? Wow. Okay. Don't forget that. Got it. Mm hmm. Amputee Prosthetic Clinic. And they got a pirate up there with one and <laughs> one a peg leg. Interesting branding. Mm hmm. Oh my God. Interesting. <laughs> That's real. They've got multiple. I love this it. This is Aunt Susie's house. You can just see they have been staging it for a big estate sale here. But there is just so much cool antiques, like silverware wow. everywhere. She was such a cool lady. Millennials would love this, right? It's just like, oh, this is cool. This house is just so amazing. She has so much character. It was so much life. Her favorite color was pink, as you can see. And she used, she had only pink shoes. She probably had 200 pairs Sweet. of pink shoes. This is a bullet hole. His grandfather Cleaning the gun. was out <laughs> here helping Aunt Sissy unload oh. all of Uncle Wayne's guns and make sure that they were empty. And Aunt Sissy said, be careful, that one has a hair trigger and it went blam! Immediately. Whoa. <laughs> Ricocheted off of that piece of furniture over there and went through here. And Papa had a cigar in his mouth and bit it in two. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love the and stories like that. Collector, you can see we got more shells over here. Like I said, just so many shells wow. everywhere. But she also has this awesome Look at all that box stuff. that they're wow. you know, repairing and somebody's going to do the whole thing. That's up. like your just, nightmare right just, there. Yeah. She had so many cool things like this old barbershop. But it's sweet to watch. Light, it is. You know, that turns on too, I think. Boom, there it is. So many oh, cool, cool. knickknacks. I could come out here as a kid and get lost for hours just exploring 
all her random things. Right? What was that? Everywhere. Was that like yeah, a thing of hair? Boom, there it is. So many cool knickknacks. I could come out here as a kid and get lost for hours just exploring. Are those uh, those it a bunch does. of wigs or something? It, well, it, it uh, I don't know, but it looks like it looks like some kind Born, of hair. All her random what the hell was that? that? I don't what know. What the hell? And she was a very bright what person, the hell? and so she uh she would make a sailor blush. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, Aunt Sissy taught me to dance. She had one of those real Dude, southern that genteel, leg. like classic accents. She just. <laughs> Oh, well, darling, come here and, and give me a good time. Show me a dance. Oh, like okay, Aunt Sissy, whatever you want. Love it. See you later, bye -bye. bye. I love how he's so close to his aunts and uncles, or I don't know about uncles, but aunts and grandpa. Dinner time. I was about to say that. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching this. Wow. And a special oh. thanks to Ruth and Vivica for your generous support of our Home Away From Home channel. Stay tuned for Ruth. more, y'all. Ruth. Aw. That was awesome so to watch. So sweet. I, you know, I really enjoy these. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. of course, I enjoy like hearing them and seeing them live. I enjoy all that. Yeah. But after doing a hundred and however many videos we've done, like I can't even count anymore. But after doing so <laughs> much and then meeting them and all this stuff, it's so fun to see where they came from yeah. and see their personality like this, like Chance. It was awesome to see Chance. I know. And to see Austin just now. This was great. Mm -hmm. We did Southerner in the Snow, but that wasn't like... No, that was more, that wasn't a Tim background right. video. And it wasn't a Rob background, even no. though it was Minnesota or yeah. Adam. You guys, if there's any more of these, please drop some comments and let's do some more of these because this was fun. You can either comment or you can hit this donation request link, whatever you want to do. But Thank you. I really enjoyed these. Yeah. So thank you very much, Tammy. This was awesome. Mm -hmm. What did you think, baby? Dogs. I loved all the dogs. Dogs. I, I mean, I've said kind of along the way, so I don't want to like regurgitate all the stuff, but just the closeness with the family, the dogs. I love these. It just feel good. I'm not going to be nitpicky on any technical stuff. That's not the intention of this video, right? It's more just to like enjoy and appreciate the experience. And I did just that. Yeah. How about you? And, and shout out to Amber Lee for busting his balls all the time. I, I love that. It was a pleasure meeting her as well. Yeah. This is just, it just felt good. You yeah. know what I mean? It like, did feel good. I love To see those. the love that Austin had for his family and like to hear the stories, the snake and all that. Yeah. I love it. So yeah. all in all, what a good way to start out Home Friday, I my know. friends. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Very much again for the recommendation. Yeah, and um, if you guys, you know the drill, right? Yes. Do I need do. to do this? No, you don't. But thank you very much for asking, and we'll see you guys in about an hour for the next video. Absolutely, my friends. Peace. Peace.